English idioms explained. Secure the fort. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, secure the fort. This idiom can be quite intriguing for English learners, so let's dive into its meaning and how you can use it in everyday conversation. The phrase, secure the fort, has its roots in military terminology. It originally referred to the action of making a fort safe from attacks or intruders. In a historical context, this would involve actions like strengthening the fort's defenses, ensuring the gates were locked, or having soldiers on guard. Understanding this origin helps us grasp the metaphorical use of the phrase in modern English. In contemporary times, secure the fort is used in a more metaphorical sense. It means to take care of things, ensure everything is in order, or maintain the status quo in someone's absence. For example, if a manager tells an employee to secure the fort while they are on vacation, they mean to take care of the office, ensure business runs smoothly, and handle any issues that may arise. 1. In a work setting, I'm going on a business trip next week. Can you secure the fort while I'm gone? 2. In a family context, I have to rush to the store. Please secure the fort and watch your little brother. 3. In a social situation, I need to step out for a moment. Can you secure the fort and make sure no one takes our seats? Understanding the context in which it's used is key to using this phrase correctly. A common mistake learners make is using secure the fort in a literal sense, which can be confusing in modern, non-military contexts. Remember, it's a metaphorical expression, so it's best used in situations where you're talking about taking responsibility or maintaining order, not actual military action. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase secure the fort. It's a great example of how English takes historical phrases and adapts them to modern, everyday use. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using idioms like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.